Hey guys, I'm Jess McDowell. It is the 25th of November and you're watching the show where we treat news and snark as equal contributing partners. In our most popular story of today, Halo 4 programmer Karin Yu has been hired by Naughty Dog and many of our commenters decided to discuss what she would bring to the series. Now I'm just kidding, mostly you argued about whether or not she was cute. When you weren't doing that though, the rest of you wondered whether Uncharted would now have a space section a la Call of Duty Ghosts and remarked on how impressive Naughty Dog's talent is shaping up to be. Yu previously worked at Gearbox Software and while it hasn't been confirmed what game she'll be working on, her position is listed as graphics coding on PC. PS4. Do you guys think Yu is destined for Uncharted 4, which is set to be a PS4 exclusive, or will they put her talents elsewhere? You can let me know in the comments. Our favorite Avalanche Studios co-founder Christopher Sunberg has taken to Twitter today to discuss where the games industry is headed. Sunberg said that microtransactions and subscriptions will define the next generation of gaming, claiming it is that simple. He also hoped that developers will lower initial price points and then build the game with the community. If you're wondering why the name sounds so familiar, just last month, Sunberg said that Call of Duty Ghosts and Battlefield 4 would mark the end of an era. You guys pretty much unanimously rejected that one. Sunberg thinks if the free-to-play term can be traded for something new, something which perhaps doesn't suggest the game is going to be total crap, then they'd eventually be more widely accepted. Do you see microtransaction game models as being ever fully embraced, or is it just really not your thing? Last off the chopping block today, Valve has decided that your opinions do in fact matter with the introduction of Steam Reviews. Steam reviews are all set to be your platform to the wider Steam community when it comes to publicizing your excellent and very important opinions. Not only can reviews be read and written, they can be rated. So if you don't find criticizing Thomas was alone for forgetting to put the googly eyes on the shapes as particularly helpful, you can let everybody know. The feature is in open beta, so if you're a Steam user, you can go check it out now and no longer be constrained under the restriction of only being able to use the relatively simple recommendation system. Users can browse reviews only in their chosen language by a specific author or even chat to devs who can use the system to talk to fans if they so choose. There won't be any numerical scores attached to the reviews, so you'll have to opt for a snappy byline. This was due to the changeability of games with the introduction of updates and new content. Do you like the idea of Steam reviews and do you think you'll end up using it yourself? You can let me know in the comments down below or on my Twitter where I'm at Jess McDonald. That is most of the stuff that mattered this Monday, but be sure to check back with me again tomorrow for more news and obviously, long live the Galactic Republic. I'll see you again soon.